In part two of this video, we'll look in more detail at the construction of this bottle. We once again start out with a full set of layout sketches. Front layout just controlling the shape and the location of cross-sectional planes. A little detail for the cap area, a bottom layout. a neck layout, a right side view layout which is pretty much a straight line with a curve and then the cross section layouts which are flattened ovals have pierce relations to this right side view layout. In addition to this on the front plane is a sketch that will control the step that arcs around the label zone. The main bottle shape is actually very simple. It's accomplished as a boundary. Here I've just made one quadrant and copied the appropriate layout sketches to get the cross sections. And then I've copied this line here and this line here and set this edge normal to profile. You should also set this edge normal to profile as well since this will be copied over to the other side. There's no reason why you couldn't just do both sides at the same time as a single boundary as well. So here I've mirrored the left side and knitted it automatically. And I've used my twist layout copied from that, copy this line and split these surfaces in order to create this label area in addition to the continuation of the twist which goes up into this part of the bottle. I probably could have used trim surfaces to remove a lot of this but for whatever reason I ended up splitting these surfaces using the insert curve split line and then to get rid of the undesired surfaces I just simply used delete face. Now the actual label surface is interesting because it's got a large recess at the bottom and at the top, a shallow recess at this edge here, and actually you should be slightly proud at this edge here so that it can easily roll down and be blended in with this surface here. So all I've done is a simple boundary surface using a guide curve in this direction and a guide curve in this direction. And here in the highlight you can see the offset that I use to control the depth of the recess at the top and the bottom. Once I made this surface, I simply just copy this edge, inset it about five millimeters and used it to trim away the outer perimeter leaving this teardrop shape with a gap between the main bottle and the label recess. The next step is simply a boundary surface that goes from this edge to this edge and from this point to this point. This is where having these surfaces split is helpful. And I've just set equal curvature on this edge and this edge which gives me automatically a radius here and here and I can set my tangency influences to try to change just how big these radii end up looking. Here I've made another split line right along this plane here gotten rid of this face here and built a new boundary in this area here. This boundary continues this step here. In this area, it blends in smoothly to this surface, again going equal curvature from here to here. So this causes our step to completely fade out